Hey y'all, it's Rachel Ryan, and this is Jan Lee Fowler. We're with EXP Realty, and we are in Lemhi County here to give you the January market report for homes and land in our area. January was cold and dark. We can't help you with the cold, but we don't want to leave you in the dark. So here we go. All right, we'll just <laughs> go right in to the residential homes first, and we'll follow it up with some land data for you. So residential homes in January actually ended up being a decent month. Usually January is a little slow. Mm -hmm. You know, we're recovering from the holidays still. And like she said, it's cold. January here in Lemhi County is usually one of our coldest months. Um, we usually have that two week stint where it's in the negatives. Yeah, and this year we had a lot of those yes. in a row. And it was foggy and dreary and People yeah. were working on their New Year's resolutions, trying to go to the gym every day, and they weren't scrolling through. That was typical of what I. But it ended up being decent. Yeah. All right. So we had 30 active homes on the MLS, and out of those, seven were new listings. Now, I will admit, I think about five of those came all in one week. Literally, yes. I At think it was like month. boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking the spring market is coming a little early here and it has been warming up. So we may see a hit a little bit early here in Lumpai County. And over the last couple of years, it just creeps a little earlier, mm -hmm. a little earlier, a little earlier. I feel like at least. Yeah. So, which is welcome because those active listings of 30 was a lot lower than we had last year at this time. Right. So that's good news. Now we did have three pending homes under contract as of the end of the month. So that was good news for January because normally, I mean, in previous years, it actually is kind of around that number. So it's, all yeah, in all, it was it's a good comparable. Month. It's similar. Mm -hmm. We had five actually close in the month of January. That is excellent month for yeah. January. That was four more than 2023 and one more than December of 2023. So mm -hmm. that was a great look. Now, list of sales price. That is the difference between your asking price and how much your home actually sold for. Now for January, <clears throat> 2024, that was 86%. Low. That was actually low. In like December- the lowest I think we've ever seen that we've I been think compiling so. data and numbers. Yes, I think so. In December, it was 92%, mm -hmm. which also I felt was low already. I usually don't see it go very much below 92%. Especially compared to the entire year of 2023 mm -hmm. and even back into 2022, usually like 94, 95% higher is what we've mm -hmm. seen. That's the average is 95%. So, yeah. So for 86%, that's pretty low. But remember, we did have a couple of those listings um, that were either really overpriced, you can look at it that way, or, you know, the buyer just got a really good deal. And they got an excellent deal. Yeah. I was surprised at how well, well, how low. <laughs> those how good of a deal they got. Yeah. How, how good of a deal they got for. I mean, we're talking six digits. Mm -hmm. The list price was, you know, whatever it was, and we were a hundred thousand plus less as the accepted offer price. So, yes. Yeah. Excellent deals out there. You just got to search for them. And I that, that brings another point, you know, like if, if, uh, you know, you see a property that you like and you don't like the listing price, like that's why you have us, your experienced and local real estate agents to help guide you. And we're not afraid to put in an offer no matter what that amount is. Yeah. So we're here to do, we're here to do the work for you. Excellent. Now our days on market for homes, it was 175 on average, and that has slowly creeped up. Mm -hmm. um, homes are sitting on the market longer. Um, that does mean that average list of sales price. That's why it's gone down mm -hmm. is because the longer a home sits, the higher that percent or lower that percentage is as well. Yep. And average sales price was 290,000. But like I say, that's just going to depend on what homes sell during that month. And it's interesting because a lot of times people will look at these statistics that we gather and they'll say, okay, you know, you went from last summer being in the 400s, average sales price of a home, which was quite high. Um, and then we're back down to the 290s. And there for a while, we were in the low 200s. And the average price for a home was under 300,000. And so it's interesting, you can't compare in like a short term, couple months period. You have to look at the larger scope and the bigger picture to see kind of that fluctuation, fluctuation, kind of like the stock market. Yeah, because you know, I think we had uh, like what 
three or four homes sell under three hundred thousand? Yeah, that's slowly increased. Yeah, and so, so having the inventory, off. you know, that's going to throw things off. And there for a while, that higher price, we didn't have a whole lot of sales, but they were higher priced homes. You know, we're talking seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand dollar homes. Um, and a lot were cash, which is also a whole another subject. But um, yeah, that definitely throws off the numbers. So what's our residential breakdown? Um, so we have 55% of homes right now that are in January, I guess, that were under 500000 So just over half, which that's good. That, to me, that's a good sign. There's more affordable housing mm -hmm. for people in our area. As that increases, obviously, the higher price points are going to decrease. Um, between five and eight hundred thousand, we had just under thirty percent, twenty nine percent, and only sixteen percent of the homes in January were above eight hundred thousand dollars. So, okay, it's interesting how things flip flop, you yeah. know, and they kind of come and go because it was almost exactly flip flops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we About had almost eight half. Ago. We had almost fifty percent, if I remember right, above, above eight hundred thousand, and not a lot of them had a lot of land. We're not talking big farm and ranch properties with hundreds of acres. We're talking, you know, under 10 acres mm -hmm. and a home. So it's interesting. It's interesting to kind of watch that. And I am not a numbers person. I'm <laughs> I'm on the creative side. She likes <laughs> the numbers. And you're slowly talking me into liking them a little <laughs> bit. I can handle a stat or two. <laughs> so what about the land? Land. I love land. I'm a land girl. Um, for January, we had 30 active listings, and that was interesting because usually we don't see the same amount of land and the same amount of homes. So sure. yeah, that is interesting. Um, that was just something that I had noticed that was a little bit different than what we've seen in the past. Um, three new land listings in January, which is not really a lot, and land fluctuates too. It's like we'll get several listings and then nothing for a while, and several yeah. and then nothing. Um, two went pending in January. And in comparison to January of 2023, we had eight that had gone pending. So land in January last year was a little higher. It was. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? It was uh, higher interest. <laughs> People were more interested. Interest. Yep. Yep. And then uh, December of 2023, we had three that went pending. So with that, two sold in January, which is kind of low, but also not surprising. We've had quite a few... Um, Lots that have been listed and they're smaller parcels, smart, smaller, you know, not really a lot of acreage and it's hard to buy land without seeing the survey pins or without having mm -hmm. survey and trying to figure out where lot lines are and digging through a foot of snow. So, um, quite typical. Uh, list to sales price, it's interesting. We had 84% in January of 2024 and that was again a lot lower, very similar to the home list to sales ratio, oh. which also was odd. So we had the same amount of act, uh, active listings and we had the same list to sales price ratio so, uh, by 2%. So anyways, that was just another interesting thing to me. Um, December of 2023 list to sales price ratio was 94% and 93 in January of 2023. So um, down a little bit Again, not hundred percent sure other than just kind of speculate. Um, everything with interest rates in the market. Average days on the market, 205. I don't like that number. I don't like seeing it over 200, especially when it's land. You know, a lot of people um, move to the area and or they plan ahead and they know they're gonna be moving to the area. They wanna invest in real estate and they wanna um, build a home or they wanna bring in a new manufactured home or build a tiny cabin or something like that. So having 205 days on the market for land in an, in a county that is known for land doesn't look so great. But um, again, I think that's just a sign of the current market. You know, November, December into January. I kind of feel like when you're talking about land, you kind of got to look at things in threes. Yeah. You know, we usually do see those start to get grabbed up in the days of market. You usually cut about... Um, back down into the 150s come yeah. summer, mm -hmm. and then they slowly creep up again. But we are about, I want to say, 30% higher than we yeah. actually are. Yeah, for January, January of last year, it was just, it was about 167, uh -huh. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and December was not that much higher, 192. So, 
yeah, we'll get back down there. And again, you know, the snow's melting. It's been strange. We've had some sunshine. It's been really muddy and we kind of had a false spring, which I liked because there was a couple days of sunshine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Creeping in there and it was above 35 degrees outside, but uh, um, things are kind of frozen again and I'm sure we'll see that weather change for the next two months. So we'll see what March and April bring as far as sales and transactions. Um, average sales price, again, due to the size of the lots that sold, $15,750. So we had the two lots, one was 11000 and one was 20000 So Yeah, so it's kind of right there in that median. Um, nothing sold that had much acreage and no city lots, you know. It'll be interesting to see. There's been a lot of discussion on um, what city lots are going to go for. You know, some that have city utilities and hookups and some that don't. And we're creeping up there into that, you know, fifty to 65000 range for a city lot. Yep. So I think that demand is going to increase and that's going to drive the price up a little bit. And see where we go for spring. Overall, I've been, I mean, just watching February, I've been noticing we were getting more and more listings on the market, so our active listings are getting up there. I think that um, we'll be seeing some nice homes come on the market. We've even seen a couple more land listings come open in the last couple of weeks. So if you're looking out there, looking to buy, there's some nice stuff on the market right now, and you can grab some nice things. I know interest rates have creeped up there just a little bit, maybe half a point in the last month, maybe. And there's still talk of them lowering things in March. So coming from our lenders, um, which that's great news, right? And I think it's kind of like a teeter-totter. Yeah, you know, it's going to go back and forth. And on the seller side, I mean, really what you just need to know is that you need to price effectively. So it's, it's all Huge. about pricing. You can't overinflate your pricing. You really need to sit down and have an honest, yeah, good and honest, honest discussion. communication with your real estate agent and really get down to the nitty gritty, your motivation for moving and really talk about it. Uh, and that's, that's one thing that we do. Um, so Janelle and I, anytime that we have a listing presentation, we will gather all the numbers, gather all, gather all the data and sit down and sometimes it's two, three hours of conversation. Mm -hmm depending on what your needs as a seller are, what your goals are, um, what your plans are, and your timeline. And we, we will give you a low, and we'll give you a high, and we'll give you a recommended. And um, I feel like here in the last little bit, especially, you've had some really good stats to prove that you're on top of your pricing game. Yeah. You know, when, when the average days on the market for land is 205 days and... 175 for homes and you know you have six days on the market four days on the, oh, market. the last one i saw you know, was yeah. yeah so that was the one where i got to choose the pricing you got to choose the price yep they listen to you and not everybody's going to because their goals and and yes. circumstances are different some people are needing to sell some people aren't um so we we like to take all those things into factor of and We're some not. houses are going to sit on the market. Different price points, with different different price price points. points are going to sit longer. Yeah. So not every house is going to have a six days on market. We live in a very unique market and most sellers that live here know that. Most buyers learn that very quickly when they come with their list of uh, desires and wishes yes. and sometimes demands. <laughs> and that's okay. Um, that we, we just can't put together a cookie cutter CMA because every neighborhood is different and every home is different and unique and sometimes you're puzzle piecing together what is the value of your home and we get a lot of appraisers that call us and asking us you know what are your thoughts on comps for properties because yeah. you know it's just so unique here so just things to keep in mind you can't compare to your neighbor not here <laughs> <laughs> one of the wonderful things about Lemhi County <laughs> In my opinion. Anyways, if you have any questions for us, feel free to give us a call. Our contact information is in the description. We always welcome anybody to subscribe to our channel. So hit that subscribe button. Hit the like, like our videos so you can keep um, uh, up to date. Yeah, up yep. to date on our videos. And give us a call if you ever want to chat. We're happy to give you a conversation. Super easy to remember. 208-756-HOME is our office number. Have a great day. Bye.